Hello and welcome to RuneScape. Uh, so it's a Monday which means update day and it's the start of the Christmas events. Um, so the first thing is that the Premier Club options are now available. So the bronze, silver and gold Premier Club stuff. I'm thinking of getting just silver this year rather than going for gold because I mainly use it for the extra treasure hunter key but um, I don't really care about the overrides and all that kind of stuff that you get with the gold but depending how much money you have I may go for the gold in the end um, I am planning on getting max next year anyway uh, I've not managed it this year and with invention coming that would stop it anyway but maybe I'll get gold so that I can get invention properly anyway right now that that's out of the way um, the next thing is there is an advent calendar so if you are on EOC interface, uh, you'll have this Christmas 2015 thing bid. If you are on Legacy on your mini map, uh, there should be a similar thing that you can click on. Uh, so there is the latest quest, which is just behind me. Uh, it's also in Barthorpe, as usual. Uh, and it says there is no prize to claim today. Uh, but if I click on Advent Calendar, you can see that that is the 1st of December all the way to the 25th. This will be available for three weeks after Christmas Day, so you'll still have time to go and collect all the things. Um, there is one untradeable rare that you can get a chance of getting. Uh, whatever is in this list will also appear on Treasure Hunter if you want more of them, which is a bit, I don't know, depends what the item is, I guess. If it's it could be a bit of a crap move by doing that but anyway I imagine it's more likely that the items won't be that great so on to the next thing so the little Christmas quest you can speak to a snow imp um, and you can get started so Santa's gone missing and it's something to do with penguins uh, looking at the news post so obviously Speaking to them, they're always quite funny. Um, it's f available to free to play, so you can go ahead and do that. Um, will you help? Yes, I will. That is quite a lot of text to go through. So go to the island, find everyone, and come back. So there is apparently a lodestone to get there, Christmas lodestone, which is on the iceberg, on an iceberg. So that means penguins. And this is quite a nice looking area. Uh, there is lots of snow about. Um, okay, so we just got to read the labels. Marvin, Marvin's familiar. I think that's my own snow imp. Maybe not. Okay. Murray, Barry, Blue Pot. Okay, cool. Unwrap the present. And there's a penguin, which has knocked me out. Cool. And I'm now in Demonheim. By the looks of it. Okay, so I guess I'm meant to go back here now. I guess that's a trick. Um, so it says I'm looking for Marcus. Oh, obviously the first one I find after that. So this is will be where my snow imp is kept, I assume. And rather present. Okay, and we've got our snow imp back. Ice amulet, um, so I need to summon him. Summon imp. And then we talk. So we've now got to go and find Prince Jack. Also known as Jack Frost. I'm guessing that I'm not supposed to go this way because it keeps resetting me which is a bit 
odd and buggy. Ah, well, now I've gone into the cutscene and it didn't go twice. It says, I guess Prince Jack must be that way. Wait, what this a cooking range? Watch out. And now a bunch of penguins have appeared. So I'm guessing it was bugged out there. Um, so, yeah, that's a bit annoying. So now we're going to get kidnapped by some penguins. Uh, what price? And they've not even decided a price. Okay, they want some food. So we've got to prepare them a feast, which is why there's a cooking range, and now a roast turkey has appeared, and a bunch of other things. Okay, okay, you got to ask him first, and then you listen to what he says. So, food to cook, uh, turkey, food to taste, you'll log. Okay. Uh, so on the right hand side, as interface, I could probably move that, but that's where it's appearing for me. Uh, now they're wanting puddings. So this guy here shouts other stuff, and that guy shouts stuff. I'm not okay. Three out of fifteen. So we've got a cook fifteen of these. I'm not getting any XP for it. Um. And there is our 15. And now eating the Christmas puddings that we just sort of made. Uh, so how many do we have to taste? Seven of them. Eat the Christmas pudding. Yes, there we go. Okay, now what? Okay, now we've got to open the present in the corner. Okay, so you have to do that, and then you do it one more time. So that's showing that you can even do it. And then you get to choose, and then the penguin appears. So I don't know why saying to him about opening the present in the corner make any difference. A uh, bit odd. Uh, you've served as well, and that apparently gave it as a chance to give cooking and defense XP. Um, now we can open the present, and now we finally get him out. And that's episode one. Okay, so that's the other thing. Is this is split into three episodes, I think. Um, and they'll be released each week leading up till Christmas. And they'll each be a different thing. So I imagine getting to these different areas. So maybe over there will be two and over there will be three. So you may now gain experience from cooking and tasting food. So if we want Defense XP, we can now go do this. So we'll go to the Yule Log. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Um, I should have clicked Don't Ask Again. But that gave 9 XP. That's tiny. That's useless. Um, and how much cooking XP does this give? Uh, your log. I'm not really sure your point. No, I guess you do. 350 XP or 175. That's an okay amount. That's actually quite decent. Um, so yeah. If you want cooking XP, it's alright. If you want defense XP, it's rubbish. Anyway, that is it for first episode. Um, I will be doing my Christmas giveaways, um, so I, I'll put a link for the Christmas giveaway video, announcement video. The first one will be on the 4th of December, um, where I go around and give out money. If you want to help out with that, uh, feel free to let me know, or just let me know. Um, if you want to attend, just turn up. It will be on World 3 at the Grand Exchange, and if you want to help, uh, I will make, I will design you your uh, 3D printed, 3D printable uh, RuneScape character from in-game if you want. Um, yeah, I'm a little plug for my 3D printing sort of thing. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.